Welcome to Your Cyber Path, the podcast that helps you get your dream cybersecurity job by sharing the secrets of experienced hiring managers and top cybersecurity professionals with you. Now, on to the show. One thing that I was uh, that I was curious about, and this is this is a little off the cuff question here to you, um, but I've been thinking about the difference between RMF and the NIST cybersecurity framework, and 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 you know some people have said to me, well actually they're kind of complementary, and I think to myself, well they're definitely different, and so I suppose they could be complementary. Um, whereas RMF is focused on the you know development lifecycle, and the cybersecurity framework is really more about uh, an, an incident orientation. So, do you think that the NIST cybersecurity framework would be a good way to uh, to do step seven, the continuously monitor uh, step in RMF, or or you know how do you think about the way these two frameworks uh, kind of fit up to each other? Yeah, I mean they they definitely have their place. They're both a little bit different from each other, but they do complement each other. And I do think that I am actually seeing more entities in the DOD start looking at the CSF, um, so the Zamish Security Framework, and how to bring that into that continuous monitoring create phase. Okay, so you do think that, that that's a natural touch point for these two frameworks is, is that step seven continuous monitoring. Okay, thanks, I appreciate that. I was, I was, I was trying to figure that, figure that out for myself. 